And then they have, of course, much more weather for you coming up. All right, Jim Castillo, thank you. We want to take you now live to L.A. County Fire Camp 2 in La Cunada. They're talking about evacuation orders and concerns related to the coming storm. Here is L.A. County Supervisor Mike Antonovich. Let's listen live. It's become a tragic reality for right now, 232 homes which have been identified as at-risk homes and urged to be evacuated. Those are 147 homes in the La Cunada Flint Ridge community city and 85 residents in La Crescenta. They have been asked those residents to evacuate it by 9 p.m. tonight and the sheriff's deputies will be going door to door to encourage them to evacuate. If they refuse to evacuate, they will be asked to sign a waiver that they are totally responsible for any problems that will occur as a result of the mudslides. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is contacting, as I said, affecting property owners and imploring residents to please comply with those orders. And we know from past experience that if you fail to comply, it could result in death. The Red Cross has established an evacuation shelter at the Holy Redeemer Church at 2411 Montrose Avenue in Montrose, and that shelter is now open, being operated by the Red Cross. Los Angeles County has the Department of Social Services and Mental Health there to assist, and we also have animal control, so people who have animals can take their animals there, and they will be transported by the county to the local animal shelter. So it's very important that we take care of those animals as well, and their needs will be protected. <clears throat> no parking during the rain event. Restrictions are currently in force on posted streets in La Cunada, Flint Ridge, and in La Crescenta. Residents are urged to continue to monitor news broadcasts, and we want to thank the media for your attention and your ability to inform the public as you have been doing since the station fire. Thank you very much for that. Residents are urged to continue to monitor those news broadcasts or visit the CARE website at www.dpwcare.org for updates as to this series of, of storms. We also are working closely with the La Cunada Flint Ridge City Council, the La Crescenta Town Council, Cheryl Davis, the President and Chairman is here as well, along with the City of Glendale, Aaron Nigerian, the Mayor, and the local Police Department in Glendale, and the Fire Department, as well as the County Fire Department, which has done an exemplary job in all of these areas and issues dealing and protecting life and property along with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department and the California Highway Patrol. Thank you. I would now like to bring up the mayor of La Cunada Flint Ridge, Mr. Don Voss. Thank you. I'll just echo what the supervisor said and speak to La Cunada Flint Ridge specifically. We have 147 homes that are being asked to evacuate along the northern perimeter of the city. We ask all residents who are being evacuated to comply. Please evacuate. The council's primary responsibility is to protect lives and property, and this is an important demonstration. Our debris basins have held up very well uh, so far during the storms that we've had since Saturday, but we expect a major storm Tuesday morning and into, uh, I'm sorry, Wednesday morning into Wednesday noon, uh, the likes of which I've heard we haven't seen for 10 years. So this could really strain our resources, really strain our capabilities, and we ask all residents to please comply with evacuation orders. We are very grateful for our relationship with LA County. This is a coordinated effort with the emergency service providers. Uh, we couldn't do it alone, and we appreciate LA County's uh, work with the city in this regard. Thank you. And now from the Los Angeles County Department of Public Works, Assistant Director Mark Pastrella. Good evening. I'd like to reiterate the supervisor's uh, comments as well as the mayor's comments regarding this storm event. Uh, we really encourage residents to be flood aware and flood safe by staying away from waterways, uh, remaining in their homes when we have heavy rain events, and of course listening to these evacuation orders as they're very necessary to protect them and their lives and their property. I'm very proud of the joint incident command that we formed in this event. Uh, carrying on from last year along with our uh, partners from the fire department as well as county sheriff and here today re I'm representing Los Angeles County flood control district a little bit about what's happening with the weather we've had about 6 to 12 inches of rain uh, up to this point we expect anywhere from 3 to 8 inches of rain going forward 
the amount of rain that we expect coming forward over this evening, starting at around 4 a.m. and until tomorrow morning sometime, is significant. It is one of the reasons that we have decided to recommend evacuations in this area. But I also want to reiterate that the infrastructure that protects the community is doing very well. It's acting as intended. Uh, the 14 major dams in L.A. County are all currently storing water and regulating that water through the flood control system, including the Los Angeles River and San Gabriel Rivers. The debris basins that protect this community, uh, 28 of our 155 debris basins that protect these communities, are all at uh, uh, only about 5% full. Uh, they are haven't received a tremendous amount of debris at this point, but we do expect a, a, a pretty good debris inflow during this uh, period, next 24-hour period. Our crews will be out on uh, their normal patrols, 24-hour patrol, looking and um, assessing the facilities as we go forward. And as the night goes on, we will be, uh, the Department of Public Works will be providing technical information to both fire and sheriff and guiding them with respect to any risk that may exist as the, as the event uh, proceeds. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to, uh, to Mark to introduce uh, Fire Department. And now, Commander of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, Anthony LaBerge. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I'd like to reiterate uh, what's been said already. The evacuation orders that are taking place now are mandatory, and we really implore the residents to take heed to this notice. We know in the past uh, there's been some evacuation fatigue from previous incidents of last year. This year, we've seen we've just gone through six days of consistent rain. So today's decision was... Uh, come together with the unified command it's very specific we uh, targeted the specific houses 232 homes that we feel are most at risk so if we're knocking on your door it's because you really should heed our evacuation order uh, with that we've brought in additional 50 deputies to, to support and augment the Crescenta Valley Sheriff Station staffing so we'll have more than enough personnel on scene to secure the neighborhoods we're going to remain on scene throughout this whole event uh, we're going to ensure the public safety. We're going to ensure that your neighborhoods are safe, and we'll be able to respond to any and all emergencies, even outside this event. But again, if we're knocking on your door, we implore that you do heed our notice and evacuate. Uh, make sure that all your vehicles and trash cans or any other obstacles are removed from the streets so that we can have free access for all the personnel that need to come in and out of your area to protect your neighborhoods. And uh, with that, uh, we're going to have a successful event and uh, turn it over to fire department. From Los Angeles County Fire Department, Deputy Chief Mike Metro. I cannot overemphasize the magnitude of this storm that is, is bearing down upon us right now. This will provide more water than we have seen in most certainly any of the storms since the station fire, and some say more rain than we've seen in the last 10 years. To that end, Department of Public Works has done an extraordinary job. The sheriffs is out there doing an extraordinary job knocking on doors. Now the L.A. County Fire Department is standing up a significant contingent of resources to be ready to rescue people in the event that we do have the unthinkable happen. We have stood up approximately 25 additional apparatus and augmented staffing on about another 11 more. We have three areas of concern right now, of course, the Crescenta Valley, uh, the Acton area, and the Palmdale area. Our, our primary focus of concern and reason we've asked for evacuations is, of course, here in La Cunada and Flint Ridge. We have uh, flooding problems in the Antelope Valley and, uh, and road closures, so we're augmenting some resources out there to assist our citizens that trust us. To try to frame what is happening right now, I'd like to ask two things. One, when the deputies knock on your door, please leave. I truly understand the significance of you leaving your home. I truly understand the significance of the season, but this is your lives that we're attempting to protect, and so we're asking you to obey the orders to leave. Secondly, we've had a number of swift water rescues of people that go too close to the channels and fall in. In the city of Glendale, there was an individual chasing a basketball, three inches of fast moving water took this gentleman off his feet and sent him down the river. We have 10 and 20 feet of water now in many of our channels. So we are begging you, stay away from swift moving water. And again, LA County Fire Department, we stood up Camp 2 here as a unified incident command post. We have an entire incident management team ready and prepared to protect the public who we know you've entrusted your lives and property to us. Thank you. We will now open it to questions. 
Okay, uh, we're here at Camp 2, which is near JPL. We're at the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains, where only last year they had the station fire rip through there, damaged a lot of the vegetation that would ordinarily hold in the mud and debris flows from coming down the mountains. But they keep reiterating here that we're about to have one of the biggest rainstorms that we've seen in the past 10 years. And so they're asking, when the L.A. County Sheriff does come and knock on your door in the La Crescenta, La Cunada, Flint Ridge areas, that you do evacuate. They're reiterating this could be a life and death situation. They say they know this is Christmas week and that a lot of people ended up with evacuation fatigue last year, but they say better to be safe than sorry. That's been reiterated several times here this evening and afternoon as we've spoken with these L.A. County fire officials. It's uh, nearly 200 homes. Once again, L.A. County Sheriff, they're going to go around knock on your door. Please ask you to leave. You're to be out of your home by 9 p.m. There is an evacuation shelter set up at Holy Redeemer Church in Montrose that you can go to. You can also take your pets there and they, the officials, will then take your pets to the local animal shelter for safekeeping. Also, L.A. County Sheriff spoke here tonight letting you know that they have uh, hired another 150 sheriff's deputies to be on patrol tonight and safeguard your homes. They don't want you to have to worry about your homes. They say they will be safe and secure. The most important thing here, though, is human life and so they're asking you to please evacuate if you are one of the people that has been asked to and also everyone is to remove your cars from the streets of La Cunada, Flint Ridge, and La Crescenta so that public works and, of course, fire and sheriffs can get up and down in your street in the way that they need to to keep all these neighborhoods safe. That's going to do it for us here at Camp 2 near JPL. And, of course, we're going to be out here throughout the night monitoring this situation with these L.A. County officials. For now, we're going to send it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Mary Beth, thank you. And uh, the thrust of that